Morning guys, I'm out on my uh, street triple R for a little ride, early morning ride and uh, this morning I want to talk about uh, comfort on the street triple R and uh, how I've been feeling, how I've been uh, getting along with, uh, with the comfort on this bike because the bike is a little bit more uh, on the sporty side compared to uh, all the previous bikes I had and uh, sometimes that can be a negative um, and sometimes and sometimes it can be uh, not not so much of a problem so uh, today I want to cover that comfort on the street triple R um, I am 170 eight centimeters tall and uh, look at this look at this uh, look at this road absolutely beautiful and uh, where I came from it was raining and yeah it's just totally open so um, yeah 178 centimeters tall and um, I weigh about uh, 75 kilograms with all my gear on um, average build so I'm not I'm not a heavy I'm not a heavy rider um, but man uh, firstly the seat now this is the stock standard seat there's there's nothing special on the seat at all and uh, it is very comfortable um, I usually try and do like an hour and a half to two hour rides and uh, it's uh, it's really comfortable now if I compare this to my uh, 850GS I had, the 850GS's uh, seat was uh, more comfortable because it was a specific gel seat, um, where this is just the standard seat. So uh, I can probably go a little bit further in one sitting on the GS than what I can on this bike. And you would, uh, you, you would really expect that because the GS is sort of made for uh, made for long distance uh, riding um, I also um, enjoy well I, I, I also have this rule that I try and ride for like a maximum of two hours and then I would get off and stretch my legs uh, just to sort of get a bit bit of uh, you know just just to stretch out the legs and the back and the arms or whatever just uh, uh, breaks up the journey and it just uh, it sort of uh, uh, makes it more comfortable if you do long rides that I found uh, so uh, so you yeah, have a seat standard seat it doesn't um, it doesn't push me forward onto the tank and that's and that's sort of quite a nice quite a nice thing uh, sometimes um, the seats are angled a little bit forward and it and it keeps on keeps on pushing you to the to the front this one does not do that so um, I'm very happy with that it's a very nice you can move backwards the further backwards you move the more it sort of uh, slopes down I've, I've, I found but if I'm sitting in the middle of it I've got about uh, about the two two uh, two fingers gap between myself and uh, the tank so that's quite nice just on another note I need to probably uh, sort out a tank pad for me because uh, I've been seeing a few scratches on the tank itself. That's not really ideal. Well, this guy is in a rush this morning to the red light. So that's so that's a seat. Uh, definitely very impressed with the with the seat's comfort. Um, the riding position on my knees. Now my knees are fairly bent. Um, I don't know if you guys can see but that's sort of the bending angle um, but it's very it's it's there's it's no pressure on my knees it's not uh, uncomfortable it's not uh, it's not too bent it's not too straight so it's just for me and my height it's comfortable and I like that it's uh, especially if you do long long distances I I usually get like a like a cramp here on my top, on my uh, my top of my leg. Um, if the if the bend in my hip to my knee is too much, it's 
it's like a it's like a cramp and then I have to stretch my uh, or straighten my leg to work the cramp out and then uh, and then it goes and then it goes back to normal oh it's 30 zone here come on so uh, so yeah you know that that hasn't um, happened on this bike at all so for me that is a definitely a bonus so that's the seating position and the angle of my knees and my and my sort of my back hip that's that's all that's all uh, great um, and then my arms and my shoulders uh, I had a uh, I had a uh, uh, BMW RT 1200 I think and uh, we went to Germany on this bike and this bike gave me like a pain between my shoulder blades that I could only ride for an hour with all the comforts on that bike for some reason that bike gave me a pain between the shoulder blades and I had my wife sort of uh, pushing on my back just so I can go, go a little bit further than, than, than an hour and a half ride very very bizarre and um, there was a lot of stuff on the forums that the guys were saying that you can uh, install risers and this and that and the other I don't really want to have to uh, uh, customize a bike to uh, um, to make it comfortable it should be at least comfortable um, for myself when I buy it especially if you spend a lot of money on it but yeah not all bikes can uh, can be comfortable to everyone and for, 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 for some bizarre reason that bike was not comfortable to me I couldn't believe it really it was it was it was just uh, it was just uh, just a joke so getting back to the street triple R uh, where do I want to go I want to go to uh, to uh, keep on the a let's go to uh, Wallingford I think that's a nice place that's the ride 30 mile an hour so uh, my shoulders is really relaxed so um, you know it's it's down my arms has got a nice bend into it and um, it just feels like it is um, you know, sort of the angle between the handlebars and where I'm sitting feels like it's very relaxed meaning that I'm upright enough that I don't lean on on the handlebars too much but I'm not too far upright that I sit up straight if that makes sense there we go nice little town here road work town <laughs> so uh, um, I do um, sometimes especially if you're going slow like I'm going now 30 miles an hour um, and there's and there's no real uh, wind on your chest I do uh, uh, you know feel a bit of pressure on my wrists um, again I, I don't have the strongest wrist because I've fallen so many times on my electric unicycles and stuff um, but yeah I, I feel a bit of pressure on my on my uh, inside of my wrists and that sort of uh, goes away as soon as I pick up speed so if I if I cruise around 40 then uh, that's that is perfectly that is perfectly fine it goes away and again you know just a little bit of a, uh, a shake and then uh, that uh, goes away another biker this is a beautiful little town Wallingford wow is that the Looks like the new Ayabusa. Beautiful. Look at that thing's exhaust pipes. Woohoo! It's a beast. Look at it. It looks like a. It's like a. Uh, it almost looks like a mothership. You know, it's something that um, you would. Uh, you'd use to uh, refill. You used to refill uh, in in uh, in in flight refueling. <laughs> that's a gorgeous piece of kit. I think of it. That was just launched. And that's a twenty. That's a twenty-one plate. So it's uh, very new. 
but but yeah so um there's a little bit of pressure on my wrists um when i uh when i do very slow riding but again it's it's sort of uh it's not an issue because it's not it's not that much pressure um i even had more pressure on my wrists uh, on my uh, DSR zero for some bizarre reason um, and if you if I compare it to the K 1300 s I had that's a that's a bit more forward forward leaning bike um, this is uh, a walk in the park to be honest boom that hole so uh, yeah the comfort on uh, on the wrists the arms and the shoulders are are really nice it almost feels like it's just really it's just really comfortable you sit you sit um, sit on top of the bike so yeah very happy with that so that's the that's sort of the the wrists arms and shoulders I've not had any any pains in my shoulders and that is and that is really nice to uh, to be able to say that it makes such a big difference um, I've not actually had like a full-blown uh, sports bike meaning like an S thousand RR the closest I had to a full sports bike was, was in uh, a BMW K 1300 S so uh, and that one was a beast just had a quick little stop I did about a uh, 40 minute ride now and uh, just want to quickly uh, show you this uh, this is a beautiful bike and uh, also want to show you this beautiful area that I'm in look at this by the canal it's really nice nice bridge there there's a nice uh, Boathouse. Very awesome, but look this so calm down here. Very nice. The countryside here in the UK is just absolutely gorgeous. Really beautiful. But yeah, let's get back to the bike and the comfort. But yeah, guys, I can't I can't complain about this bike so so far. You know. Um, it's sitting close to 900 miles, I think. And um, I, I, I actually don't have any complaints so far. Now, oh yeah, I was saying about the stippling or the, or the grip on this. You know, it's, it's actually smooth. Even if I like really press hard with my finger, it is very smooth. So, so some of them has got uh, rubber inserts that will probably prevent the slippage. But it might also be that this lip is too high and it doesn't give me enough uh, grip on top of this with my boot. But it just it just slides down a bit. So uh, I might look at something else for that. Also might look at some uh, little little upgrades. A lot of guys do like a tail like a tail tidy um, conversion on the bike, and we need to check that out. We need to get a uh, a tank pad. As you can see, there's already little bit of scuff marks there. Uh, what else? Um, furthermore, here in the front, by well, the radiator, this has been holding up really nicely. The horn, that's always a problem because it's sitting out in the elements. I keep on just uh, putting a little bit of ACF over it um, with a cloth to keep the, the rust and the elements out. Um, I've not really adjusted any of the levers. Mine is sitting at one setting. On this side, it's sitting on three. That's nothing, nothing different there. The mirrors has been working 100%. Not any issues there. Coming around to this side. Now again, nothing really to report on this side. The chain. They've lubed it up on the 600 mile service, so that looks okay. Got some chain lube as lube as 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 well that I'm using. But yeah, really nothing, 
nothing about this bike that i can complain about well, okay guys um thank you very much for watching and i hope this helps someone on the comfort side looking to buy this bike and if there's any other questions that you uh, that you that, that, that you want to ask please drop them in the comments below and i'll get back to you but yeah i hope you guys are enjoying a lovely time riding your bikes in between the weather here in the uk and wherever you are in the us or whatever enjoy the big open roads guys so i'll see you in the next one and stay safe cheers